Hey, 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 let's go! Yo, what up, what up, it's the kid CJ City. You already know what it is, CJ City TV. So we back with another vlog today. I got a brand new sneaker review for all the fans out there. We are going to be talking about the Air Max 95s. I'm gonna do a full review on that. I'm also going to be hitting you guys with five facts that you probably did not know about these Air Max 95s. This is some stuff that I'm brand new to, man. I just barely found out a couple of these facts. I'm gonna be sharing that with you as well. But before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell right there. Turn on those notifications. You guys are going to get an email alert every single time I upload brand new sneaker content. Trust me, man. You guys don't want to miss a thing. We are heating up here on CJ City TV. But with no further ado, man, Let's just talk about these bad boys right here. The Air Max 95s, such an iconic shoe. We got the gold metal editions right here. But before we get into all the specs and all the details, I'm going to be hitting you guys with five facts that you probably did not know about these Air Max 95s. No particular order, but let's just start off with fact number five. The first thing that I want to touch on is the price point, man. We all know that the price point suggested retail right now is 160. But did you guys know that when these sneakers first came out, they retailed at 140. I know you guys are probably going to hear that right now. Like 140, that's a steal. I would love to get those for 140. But listen, this was back in 1995. Yo, sneakers were not that much back then. This was an overpriced sneaker. They didn't think this shoe was going to do good. They didn't think people were, were going to buy it. It was just way too much back then. I'm telling you, I've been collecting sneakers for a long time. I remember specifically the Bread 11s were 135. So just think about that. The Bread 11s were 135 and these Air Max 95s were 140. That was just like insane. That was unheard of way back then. That was just really high. And uh, they didn't think the shoe was going to sell out. They didn't think the shoe was going to do good. But surprisingly enough, this shoe became really popular. Probably started off in the UK. Then it kind of came over here to the uh, the States. And then people really, really loved the shoe. Sold out, did really great. We all know the history. But that's just kind of crazy to me that 140 was just extremely high back then, man. So that's fact number five. Fact number four that I want to talk about is actually going to involve the actual silhouette of this sneaker, man. So, you know, we all see this Nike sign right there, right? Guess what? The original concept, the original design did not have the Nike sign, man. I forget the guy's name. His name's like Sergio or something like that. He was working with Tinker Hatfield and he did not want the Nike sign on this sneaker, man. He actually just thought it was going to like take away from the design. He wanted the, the you guys are going to understand later, but he wanted the concept to really be the story of the shoe, not the Nike sign. Obviously, Nike was not going with that. That kind, of, that kind of sound like something Kanye would do, right? You know, try to talk the brand out of taking off the brand logo. That's funny, man. But uh, yeah, Nike wasn't feeling that. Obviously, they wanted to have the Nike sign on there. They were kind of going back and forth with that. They decided to do it. But he said just to try to make it as subtle as possible. That's why you only get one little Nike sign right here on the heel. And it, it kind of just blends in with the design. You don't have a Nike sign here, one on the tongue you know one big check at the bottom it's nothing on the flip side or nothing like that so that's just kind of like an interesting concept as well the original silhouette they didn't want to have the nike sign on there man so fact number three we are going to talk about the silhouettes we're talking about the silhouette right did you guys know that this sneaker did so good they decided to do a re-retro, and the re-retro was a fail all the way, man. This sneaker came out with a zipper right here. A goddamn zipper, man. It kind of reminds me of like the Gary Payton, the gloves, and all those sneakers that were kind of popular way back then. You know, I'll give you a little close-up of the picture right here, man. Look at this ugly sneaker right here ugly silhouette design i don't know what they were thinking with this one man it, it was kind of a rare shoe not rare because it was like limited and not a lot of people had it not a lot of people wanted it man it came out did like terrible they took it off they didn't re-retro it they didn't they didn't come out again it was actually just a hideous shoe if i'm not mistaken i actually think they did two colorways of this that's kind of crazy in my opinion but uh yeah man can you imagine if that shoe would have got popular that damn zipper on this air max that would have been terrible but anyway man fact number two just sticking on the whole concept right 
You know, they actually came out with a woman's boot. It was like a knee high boot of the Air Max 95. And it wasn't fake either. You know, there, there's been a lot of pictures of like women Jordan boots and stuff like that. We all see the bootlegs. That shoe was actually a real sneaker. It actually retailed. Women actually wore it, they actually bought it. Same thing, it was a major fail. Did not do good at all, so they did away with that concept. And uh, yeah, we don't get any re-retros of those. I wouldn't be buying my wife any of those anyways, man. So uh, yeah, that's fact number two. And then fact number one, this is crazy. This is something that I honestly just found out. I'm not even gonna front. I just found this out. The silhouette and the concept of this sneaker is supposed to be like the human anatomy or something like that, right? So I kind of break it down a little bit. You can look at the back right here. You could tell that the design they have right there, that black part is supposed to be like the spine, like on the human, it's the back, it's your spine. That's crazy, I didn't know that. So we'll look at the sides right here as well. You guys can see the eyelets. The eyelets are supposed to kind of represent like a rib or the rib cage. So you can look at the eyelets and then it goes all the way down to like this ripple effect right here. That's supposed to represent the ribs, the rib cage. I didn't know that. We'll go ahead and take a look at this mesh material right here. You guys can see that it's kind of like a unique design right there. And it also has it on the other side. That's supposed to represent the lungs of the human body. This is crazy, man. This is a crazy concept. And they also decided to make like this mesh material. The concept behind the mesh is the fact that it's kind of like breathable. Your foot can breathe just like your lungs. It can breathe. So this has a whole concept behind it. That's something that I'm honestly, uh, you know, I'm not ashamed to say, but I just barely found that out. And I just wanted to share those facts with all the people out there, just in case you did not know. But anyway, let's just get into the goods. This is what everybody came for, right? So let's just talk about these Air Max 95 Gold Editions right here. Bam. Oh, man. What a beauty, man. I know the 97s uh, came out as well. I don't know if this is more popular. I'm feeling the 97s just a little bit more, but I'm actually feeling these as well. That's why I got my hands on a pair of these. So let's just take a look at all the specs and all the details. I'll put this one down and we'll go ahead and take a look at this sneaker right here. Bam, as you guys can see right there, like I explained earlier, we have that ripple effect that's supposed to look like the ribs right there. It just makes it even better once you understand the concept. But yeah, man, I'm really feeling that whole ripple effect on this Air Max 95. I'm definitely feeling that. Let's just go ahead and let's just take a look at these laces right here. The lacing system, we have those circular laces right there. And it's kind of like a tan material or something like that, but it's just like a perfect uh, contrast to it, man. I feel like it blends in very well. Actually, in some lights, it might actually look like it's all one solid color, the same color. So I really like the fact that they went with these laces on here. We'll go ahead and we'll just look at the flip side and look at this air unit right there. Bam, you guys could see all white midsole right there. Air unit, if you guys look closely, man, that air unit is going to be a metallic gold right there as well. So I'm definitely feeling that, man. Yeah, other than that, it's just a basic, uh, you know, Air Max 95 in gold. We have, you know, our Air Max bottom right here. Matter of fact, I don't think I told you guys, man. They actually incorporated the spine on the bottom right here. You guys can see it's like a spine. So it's supposed to represent like the human anatomy, the spine right there, and then uh, the spine that's on the back right there as well. So yeah, that's definitely a dope touch. Air Max 95, this is going to be the gold medal edition. We have our uh, our Nike embroidery right there as well on the back. So uh, tell me what you guys think of this sneaker. I don't know if you guys are going to be lucky enough to get your hands on both. If you are, salute to you. But if you can only get one, leave those comments down below. Let me know which ones you guys are feeling a little bit more. Are you guys feeling these 95s or are you guys feeling the 97s? But that's pretty much going to wrap up this review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. I got a lot of content coming. I appreciate all the love. We are almost at 25K, guys. I'm definitely going to be doing another Nike ID giveaway, man. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to the page. Turn on the notifications. I'm appreciating all the love. So until next time, I'm signing off. I'm CJ City, man. Peace.